butterflies. One of the most beautiful insects in the world is the butterfly. These creatures have four transparent or see-through wings that are often bright and colorful. Tiny scales on their wings make up their unique patterns and designs. Butterflies are cold-blooded, which means their bodies are the same temperature as the air around them. Cold-blooded is the opposite of warm-blooded. Humans are warm-blooded. Unless you are sick and have a fever, your body temperature stays the same no matter what the temperature is around you. Even though some butterflies adapt at freezing temperatures, they can't fly if they get too cold. Their wings can form little ice crystals which prevent a butterfly from flying and they could die. To keep this from happening, some butterflies hibernate in holes in trees and other crevices during the winter months. Butterflies live in habitats such as forests, grasslands, the Arctic tundra, and even in your backyard. Butterflies go through four different stages in their life. The adult female butterfly lays anywhere from one to hundreds of eggs. The eggs are about the size of the head on a pin. A caterpillar grows inside each egg. The eggs are covered in a sticky glue-like liquid that helps them attach to nearby leaves. It only takes three to six days for a caterpillar to develop inside the egg, then hatch. Once the baby caterpillar is born, it can eat the leaves it was attached to for food. When the caterpillar is hatched, it is called the larvae phase or the second stage of its life. This stage lasts until the caterpillar grows to adulthood, which takes about five to ten days. Can you imagine going from a baby to an adult in only one week? The caterpillar has strong jaws and eats leaves for food. As the caterpillar grows bigger, it outgrows its skin. It sheds its skin because it gets too big for it. Just like you buy a new pair of jeans when you get too big for your old pair. Some caterpillars shed their skin four times before they become fully grown. Fully grown for a caterpillar is about two inches in length. Other insects besides caterpillars also go through this stage. Stage three is called the pupa stage. During this stage, the caterpillar or larvae attaches itself to a branch or the underside of a leaf using a bit of silk it produces. For a final time, the caterpillar sheds its skin. This time it reveals a hard skin underneath, called a chrysalis. Sometimes people call a chrysalis a cocoon, but a chrysalis and a cocoon are not the same thing. A cocoon is spun by a moth and made from silk. A chrysalis is the hard covering that appears after a caterpillar sheds its skin. During the pupa stage, the cells of the caterpillar turn into cells of a butterfly. This process is called metamorphosis. It is one of nature's most amazing occurrences. It takes between seven to ten days for a young caterpillar to turn into an adult butterfly. When the butterfly emerges from the chrysalis, the pupa stage ends and the fourth and final stage of its life cycle begins. Now, the butterfly is an adult. However, it cannot fly when it is first born. Instead, it hangs upside down until its wing takes shape and become hard. After about two hours, the butterfly wings will have developed completely and it is ready to fly. Depending on the species, a butterfly lives for about a week to a year. During this time, the butterfly's purpose is to reproduce or lay eggs so the life cycle of other butterflies can begin. Since a butterfly is an insect, it has six legs, two antennae, a head, a thorax, an abdomen, and compound eyes. Compound eyes give the butterflies great eyesight, while tiny knobs on the end of their antennae help them sense the air for nectar. 
A butterfly's diet includes nectar from flowers, salt from mud puddles, and juice from rotting fruits. Adult butterflies have a long tube-like tongue called a proboscis. It's like a straw they use to suck up their food. Can you imagine sucking up a mud puddle for dinner? If you think that's weird, how about this? Butterflies taste using their feet. That's right. Butterflies have tiny taste buds or receptors on the bottoms of their feet. These receptors help them know if they want to eat whatever they are standing on. Maybe that's why they don't wear socks. And did you know that it's not just bees that pollinate flowers? Butterflies also help with the job as they fly from plant to plant, sucking up nectar. Speaking of flying, some butterflies called skippers can fly almost 40 miles per hour. But most butterflies can fly between 5 and 12 miles per hour, which is still pretty fast. The biggest butterfly in the world is called the birdwing butterfly. These butterflies have large, angular wings that can reach almost a foot long. These also fly in a similar way to birds. Their way of flying and their wing shape is how they get their name. These amazing butterflies live in the forests of eastern Papua New Guinea. Birdwing butterflies are very rare and endangered, which unfortunately means there aren't very many of them left. One butterfly you are probably familiar with is the monarch butterfly. These butterflies are native to North and South America. Every year when it begins to turn cold, monarch butterflies travel great distances to warm locations like Mexico or California, sometimes over 2,000 miles away. The female monarchs then lay their eggs. Once the new butterflies are born, they travel back to where they came from. This starts a new life cycle. The monarch butterfly is the only butterfly known to make a two-way migration, just like birds do. There are nearly 20,000 different species of butterflies on Earth, and each is unique. Remember that butterflies are delicate creatures, so if you ever get a chance to hold one, be very careful. We want these incredible creatures to continue adding beauty to our various landscapes all over the world. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.